Okay, I'm gonna have a quick go at this just to see if um, I can explain this. Um, this is two sheets. Uh, it's in it's in numbers, Mac numbers, but it won't matter. So this is there's two rows here. So I've got row one point one, one point two, one point three, and then row two, which one two point one, two point two, two point three. So I want to mirror some of these across to here. So if this is the second sheet, so if I went equal to and then just click over here and go this it it should show it up right now so if I move along like this it will bring in the values from the other line uh, the other row on the other sheet and the same here okay so that's one option if on the other hand I want it to just focus on that one line and not continue on when I drag down just keep those numbers going down straight and referencing only the one line so what I would do is go equal to and then click on that and select this and in, in numbers they give you the option to pick whether it's um, I'll just use that for now right and then so what I can do is double click on it and then what it does is shows you C so you can pick absolute column or absolute row and column so what I, so what I need to do is uh, pick the absolute row okay so that means that it does um, it doesn't move from that now in order if it doesn't give you an option like this what you can do is just have the symbol dollar before the number so if you want it to stay on the on the cell you know the, the row and the column it would be dollar C dollar four so that's the dollar for the column and the dollar before the row so it won't it won't move off that so if I click this and then hit enter what will happen is if I extend down along it will just keep replicating that row and that column and if I move across it'll just keep, it's, it's locked on to that single cell okay so if I go back into this just so you can see the difference if I just go absolute row so it's allowing me to change the column but not the row what you'll find is that it will get the values off the off the other one you know off the off the columns next to them whereas these ones won't because they're locked onto that single cell so dollar before the column and dollar before the row if you want it to be locked onto just the cell itself or if you just want to lock it onto the row so that you know if you want to duplicate all these values and and the, you know all the way down the line they're just locked onto the row then you have just a dollar before the row uh, value okay and if you don't you know if you just want to to have none of that just to have it mirror the table and and so that when you select when you select one and go equal to equal to and pick just one of them that when you extend it it will make it exactly like the other sheet okay it's trying to kill me here okay that's it thank you